Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warships Blitz with Terry. Today I am in my USS Alabama. This is not a, uh, not a premium you see very often. I've had this ship for a long time. I think I just bought her when she came out uh, because I hadn't at the time really played American battleships and I was kind of curious to how that was working out. And if you are not familiar with the Alabama, this is, in my opinion, what the North Carolina should have been. Uh, the uh, Alabama, obviously being a South Dakota class, has a precise aiming. And not just any old precise aim, but a precise aim too. So this is sort of the more precise version of the North Carolina. The, not to say that she can't hit hard, because she does, but uh, we've got the typical setup with, uh, with fi main battery firing range. And uh, obviously I'm using the artillery plotting room for even further range instead of the uh, main battery mod 3 because 7% dispersion with a precise aim 2 isn't going to make a huge difference, but having a little bit more range is a good thing. I do have the historical camo on this thing, which gives me even more firing range and giving me dispersion already by itself. And um, I actually have Halsey in my account. I just never, never really used him because I didn't really have a purpose for him. I didn't enjoy the North Carolina particularly much. And um, although I do have a captain and uh, on that who's already trained, so I figured uh, why, why not stick him on the Alabama and uh, just, uh, just use him there because he's a pretty good fit for the ship actually, except for the preheating plus, which I probably won't be using. Uh, in, I'd rather have the artillery maintenance expert for the better dispersion and, and turret traverse. But uh, other than that, he, he does give, uh, he, he works on torpedoes as well. So if I ever get a destroyer that I can use him on, <laughs> then that might be worth it. But um, he does give me the additional precise aim and uh, he does have an improved adrenaline rush. He does have an improved victorious charge. So you heal actually some, some something back. Uh, he does have, and, and he's pretty good at damage output, so he's got the improved Honor Seeker. Uh, you get plus 2% damage for each medal that you receive. And he's got the Angry Bull skill, which increases the uh, t main battery shell damage by 10% if you are going below 33% hit points. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to stick him on the Alabama and uh, then have a game in the USS Alabama, which I haven't played in years, <laughs> just to see uh, how well that used to work. We are playing in a tier 9 battle this time, so we actually have uh, two enemy ships that are a tier higher than us in its domination on Cage. We are playing against uh, Enterprise, Izumo, Iowa, Atlantico, and surprisingly, Seattle, Prince Eugen, and a Kagero, while the Prince Eugen and the Enterprise are divisioned up. So, uh, Alabama. Uh, it, it's... She doesn't quite have the rate of fire that you have on a North Carolina because of the lack of rapid reload. In return, she's got the precise aiming, which I personally prefer because uh, you can either throw enough shells at the wall until something sticks or you actually uh, make sure that your shells get where you want them to go. And that is where the Alabama excels. Now, of course, this being an American battleship, the AA is pretty decent and uh, she's not easy to, to set on fire. So... Uh, get, getting into C Cup to support the uh, Rabin and the Yugomo on our team enemy might be a re relatively decent idea. The enemy carrier scouts and uh, effectively just wastes his fighters here, I think, uh, because flying over us is not gonna <laughs> means he's not gonna get those back. And then decides that he wants to he wants to use his dive bombers to attack uh, an, a an AA light cruiser, <laughs> which... Oh no, he went after the Yugomo, I think. No, never mind. But he was flying straight over the Harbin. So uh, we have our, uh, our first targets, and that's a fully broadside Seattle at 15 kilometers. So halfway across the map, and that's the beauty of these things. <laughs> uh, let's get some shots out and uh, see if we can get, if we can land some of these shells on target. I think, unfortunately, the Seattle had turned in the meantime. But um, we, we do get to try again. Now, uh, the captain here is brand new, so it doesn't have the timing yet to, to, to run uh, two salvos with a precise aim. So we're just going to have to deal with the Atlantico the old-fashioned way. 
And of course, uh, that's a double insta fire because this is, while American battleships are not easy to set on fire, this is an Atlantico. Atlantico does not care. <laughs> I'm already going into re in in reverse because the Atlantico has uh, seems to have found himself something else to shoot at, and I do want to not waste my my shots at the beginning of the battle. But uh, even without precise aiming. Uh, this ship is relatively precise, and I think the Atlantico is running straight into into these torpedoes, at least some of them. So he's now flooding, and uh, I'm helping out with AA duty, and uh, he's now absolutely getting massacred by the Yugomo, so we can already uh, switch our fire over to the Prin Prince Eugen over there, and see if we can... Is he turn I think he's turning slightly. Let's see if we can get these shells on target. Ah, just, just a, li a little bit overshot. Oh well. And uh, the Dalian is now here as well, uh, and decides that he wants to go get down, Mr. President, and take those torpedoes for me. <laughs> he didn't have to. <laughs> uh, Prince again is going to be dead in a second, so I've got more things to shoot at. We're only holding one of the capture circles, but we've already t we've already gotten two kills in. Do I want to shoot at the Seattle? It's not a great angle, but I'll give it a shot. I do have an Izumo over there to shoot at as well. And uh, the Seattle obviously is the biggest threat for our destroyers, and, and that and the carrier. Uh, Seattle takes out the Harbin, so uh, they are pulling back in, in kills. We're still ahead on points a little bit, but uh, they, they hold two of the capture circles. And Seattle is obviously now going defensive, so I'm going to switch my fire to the uh, to the Izumo over there, because that is a very squishy ship, and I should be able to do something useful about that. And then I'm going to sail around the southern end here, and this is the, the Yugomo, because there's a Kagero up there. Uh, who is who might be in a chase with a friendly destroyer who is all the way up north uh, I'm not sure what he's doing there uh, escorting the carrier maybe I can't remember what that was on our team but uh, it doesn't seem to be particularly particularly useful so I'm gonna sail around the southern end and give some fire support to that Yugomo who is I think getting himself into a little bit more trouble than he thought he was because there is a carrier you have to play differently when there's a carrier so one more salvo out at that Izumo, who's giving me a nice flat broadside, and then I will uh, assist the Yugomo in in um, in its duty, in his duties by uh, dealing with Seattle if I have to. There's also an Iowa. They're still leading a capture circle. They're catching catching up on points despite still being a kill behind. Uh, friendly destroyer is hiding behind the carrier. Okay, nothing nothing to see here. Please move on. So uh, the you, the Yugomo calls for help, and yes, that's why I'm here already. Because uh, come on, I'll, I'll give you. A, he's very low on hit points, and he can't hide with a carrier above him. So uh, I'm giving AA support. Izumo is about to burn down. Yugomo is recovering a little bit of health, and now it's finally time to uh, deal with that Seattle. And uh, then we have an, a full health Iowa back there. It doesn't seem to have been done an awful lot. Is uh, targeting me, but uh, I would like to get the Seattle out of the picture first because he is the biggest threat for the Yugomo, and that will allow us, our team to well, to to survive and uh, to uh, the Yugomo to be potentially useful later on. So final shot out at the Seattle. That should be the end of that thing. That's if you're you're in a crossfire like that. Not an awful lot. Uh, we do have an I think it's an Odin uh, who is going very aggressive against the full health Iowa. So I'm not giving him the greatest chances there of survival, uh, if, unless he knows what he's doing and manages to get around the Iowa and outplay his turrets. But uh, uh, I'll I'll help. <laughs> ah, he wanted to get his torpedoes away, and now he's going broadside on against an Iowa, <laughs> uh, who's who's got about twice his hit points, and he missed the torpedoes. <laughs> Oh well, uh, better luck next time. But yeah, the Iowa is probably going to finish um, going to finish that one off. Uh, in in with this salvo? No, he's not. Uh, yeah, no, there he goes. Okay, but uh, he he's uh, the sacrifice will not be going in, will not be in vain because I now have uh, I've I've had two full salvos uncontested into the Iowa, and uh, that means while the Iowa has taken taken down uh, that friendly Odin, I am, uh, in, I, I am not going to have any trouble of finishing that thing up. Now Iowa hurts at this range, obviously, and uh, the problem is he's, he's, he's had two ships against him and he doesn't have a chance. So, uh, What's left of the enemy team? Uh, the Enterprise and one of the destroyers. Friendly carrier has been sunk. Uh, I don't, can't remember by what, but uh, I think we've done our part here. And we're, we're, we're head on points, we're holding two of the capture circles. 
Uh, if the destroyers can... Um, yeah, I don't think even sinking both of the destroyers, and I don't think the Enterprise has the time. If that cargo can make something happen, maybe. But uh, we'll get a couple shots on the Enterprise, who is now running... Uh, yeah, Yugomo, even if you suicide now, uh, I think it's going to be all right. Mr. Gertlan has the has has got the right idea, and he's just running for it because we're winning on points. Uh, and Enterprise takes out the Yugomo, but uh, it wasn't enough to snatch defe defeat from the jaws of victory. Uh, Cargo has escaped. Enterprise is hiding, um, and uh, that is the end of the game. And we've managed to win. And that is what you can do in the USS Alabama. A frankly, very, very good tier 8 battleship. And uh, I am thoroughly enjoying this thing. So uh, probably going to be playing her a little bit more and just uh, training up Halsey. Uh, you can see how many planes we, uh, we caught in the whole thing. But uh, uh, you can definitely do a lot of damage. Uh, 19 aircraft, not too bad. Uh, you can do a lot of damage from long range and from close range uh, in the second half of the battle. So, uh, very fun ship. And uh, if you've always disliked the uh, qu questionable dispersion at long range of American uh, Tech Tree Line battleships, this might be a boat for you. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.